Hi, I'm Martin from Multiply. And you know it can be a real pain when you've got a stick-in flow meter or a dirty flow meter on an underfloor heating manifold and it can cause you problems with flow rate or poor performing zones. So we're going to talk about flow meter maintenance today and the simplicity of isolating the manifold, cleaning or replacing the flow meter if necessary and then reinstating it back into the system. So flow meters come in lots of disguises and depending on the age of the system and the cleanliness of the water you can get discoloured uh, flow glasses, you won't be able to physically see the flow meter, you can get dirt and debris that are trapped within the flow meter will stop the flow meter operating correctly. So we're going to work on this particular four port multi pipe manifold and we're going to start off then we're going to isolate the manifold to start with. So we'll turn off the flow and return ports and then we need to just depressurize the manifold and we're going to use that by the filling vent point at the end and we're going to unscrew the cap and just discharge that into a bucket. Now I'm just going to attach a hose pipe on the end and depressurize the manifold into this bucket here. So once we're happy that we're isolated and we've depressurized the manifold, we just need to work on the flow meter that's causing us some issues. So just pop the cap off. Sometimes you might need a little screwdriver just to lift off the, the uh, locking cap off there. And then with a spanner, just a spanner, we're going to physically fully remove the flow meter. Now the flow meter will come out as one section here. And it's important then to check inside that we've got no dirt or debris that's collected or causing us issues within the flow meter. If necessary, we can remove the glass and the glass section will just remove off the top here. Make sure the spring assembly is working as it should do. And then we can either use a bottle brush or a rag and clean the inside of the flow meter on the flow meter glass there. And once you've cleaned it then, we can reassemble that flow meter, putting the glass back in situ, reinstating the flow meter back into, into place. Tightening up with our spanner. Remove our port where we depressurized the system. And then finally, repressurize the manifold. Reinstate the flow meter to the correct flow rate setting and reinstate the cap. And then finally, vent the top port of the manifold to remove any air that's collected. And we're done. Now, if during maintenance you found that the flow meter is beyond repair or needs changing, please see our separate video that shows how to physically do a, a flow meter exchange. In the meantime, have a good day. Thanks for watching. See you again.